Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So the economy right now in the United States is kind of in a weird place and all the major retailers like Amazon, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, all of them are agreeing on one big thing that we're gonna talk about in this video and then we're gonna explain what that means for us as investors. Okay guys, so I want to tell you what everything means for us as investors, but I want to set the stage first of all by talking about uh, just the changing circumstances of the US economy right now. Successful, and we have to realize this guys, successful investors have to look beyond the present situation. We're going to talk more about that in a minute, but the economy is a major topic for the upcoming presidential election, but the current state today, it's a little bit hard to define. Very, I would say the word that describes the U.S. economy right now is uncertainty. Uh, Dollar General, their CEO, Todd Vassos, offers a deeper understanding of the economy, particularly for low-income Americans. So I really want to open up Dollar General, take a look at their Q2 2024 report findings, not specifically at like the revenue and everything about Dollar General, but more about what they found that's so telling about the current state of the U.S. economy. And here's here's the thing, guys. Dollar General has over 20,000 locations, but they serve areas where shopping options are limited. Look at their customer demographics. More than 60% of Dollar General's customers offer or earn less. This is crazy, guys. Earn less than $35,000 annually. That's right. 60% of Dollar General's customers they're earning less than $35,000 annually. 30% of their customers have maxed out at least one credit card. 25% of their customers expect to miss a payment in the next six months. And they're, what we're seeing is that, and what Dollar General is seeing is that there is a shift in consumer behavior. This is the big thing they're seeing. Con customers are cutting back on discretionary purchases and they're focusing more on essentials like food. All right, now I wanna say what that means for us as investors, but first of all, let's zoom out a little bit and look at some of the other retailers. Of course, this report was very telling from Dollar General, but look over at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree observed cons what, their consumable sales are up, discretionary items are down at Dollar Tree and, dollar, uh, and Family Dollar, and Family Dollar's core Low income customers are continuing to struggle, so they're seeing a very similar picture. Let's jump over to Amazon real quick. Amazon uh, has seen lower average selling prices as customers are trading down to cheaper products. So even Amazon is picking up on this vibe. Walmart, look over at Walmart. Their customers across income levels are looking for keyword value. And when, we, when it comes to their upper income household, uh, upper income households are responsible for a majority of Walmart's sales growth. So when you look at Walmart's numbers, the reason that the company is growing right now is because of their upper income customers. All right, now let's talk about this because this is actually really important to note this kind of thing that Walmart is highlighting. Lower income customers are struggling to keep up, significantly altering their spending habits, but higher income customers aren't doing that. Higher income individuals are continuing to spend as usual, even in, un even in economic uncertainty. Um, just as an example, look over at RH. Now guys, first of all, I wanna say that um, RH, love the company. It's in my portfolio, it's one of the stocks I own. If you want to know what stocks are in my portfolio, if you want to know what stocks I'm buying every week, subscribe to the channel, guys, because every single week I'm posting a video about a stock that I'm buying, specifically me. All right, RH, one of my stocks, they're a luxury furniture company. They're expecting this year 5 to 7% revenue growth, demonstrating the resilience of high income customers. See, the rich, they're doing the same thing they've always done that even in economic uncertainty, it's not phasing them. But the lower income families, that's where you're seeing big changes in spending. All right, let's look at what the economic implications are for us as investors. And guys, if you don't mind, 
to support the channel, hit that like button. It really does help out with the channel with what I'm doing, guys. I appreciate y'all. All right, unpredictability. See, guys, this is what it means for us as investors. It's impossible to predict what's gonna happen next with the economy. All right, now, I'm not just clickbaiting y'all. I'm not just saying that it's cheap, but honestly, it's impossible to predict the future. The past isn't a perfect guide for the future. So let me show you what we can do in an uncertain situation like this. Uh, the current economic situation is absolutely unprecedented. So we've never really seen an economic situation in the United States like we're seeing today. So this is the mindset we have to have as investors. And actually, I'm going to steal Stanford professor Scott Sagan's saying because it speaks volumes. He said, things that have never happened, things that have never happened before, happen all the time. Things that have never happened before happen all the time. Investors have to accept the uncertainty and focus on long-term strategies. And that's what really I want to give you um, next is what are those long-term investing strategies that we can cultivate so that in times of uncertainty when the U.S. economy is like all over the place and we really don't know if it's going to go up or we're going to dive into recession, what's going to happen? Well, here's the thing, guys. We have to know that there is futility in short-term predictions. Attempting to time the market based on short-term economic cycles or geopolitics can yield very poor returns. Management commentary from companies like Dollar General and Walmart, they provide insights to us as investors, but they shouldn't dictate, guys. They cannot dictate our short-term decisions. I love Warren Buffett. I love the wisdom that he provides. This is what Warren Buffett would say. He said, if you aren't thinking about owning stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. Absolutely love that quote from Warren Buffett. See, the thing is, investors should focus on buying companies that are going to perform well over the long term, regardless of short term economic conditions. And that's a thing that always happens on this channel. People like I'll buy a stock and it'll go down like it'll drop down 30, 40 percent. And people spam in the comments and they'll be like, hey, uh, aren't you, uh, what do you think about that stock now? Like, uh, you, you know, you're down 30, 40 percent, bet you wish you had that one back. And I'm like, no, I mean, yeah, obviously, just like anyone else, I wish I would have bought it now instead of back then at this discounted rate. But I'm not upset about it. I'm not worried about it because I understand that's the price you have to pay as an investor. I'm in here for the long term. I'm not looking to sell at a 30 or 40 percent loss. So, yes, I wish that it was up 30 or 40 percent. That'd be so much better. But when I sell five, 10 years from now, then it may be up 30, 40, 300, 400 percent. So you got to have that long term mentality. So with that long term mentality, you have to build a long term portfolio. And that means that you're focusing on quality over short term trends. Create a list of stocks for the long term and that will result in a higher quality portfolio because it filters out stocks that rely on short term assumptions. Embrace the uncertainty. While the current economic environment may feel a little bit unprecedented and it is, the best course of action remains investing with a long term outlook. What's going to be what's it going to be like in 10 years? In 10 years this economic uncertainty that we're in right now, it's going to change. For the better or worse, it's going to change. All right, so invest for the long term. Because uncertainty doesn't change the fundamentals. No matter how the economy evolves, a long-term mindset is critical for successful investing. Investing in strong companies capable of thriving in various economic environments. That's the key to long-term success. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Leave a like to support the channel and subscribe for more videos like this. I post a video every single day. So I'll see you again tomorrow with another video.